provide students with an actual link where there's a tracker where we can see where there's positives, negatives, recovered, annou announcements of how many tests have been made in a day? Because we deserve that. Just to answer that question, we are uh, doing that through county, uh, Albany County. We, we are doing that through Albany County, and uh, we are also going to be establishing a dashboard here uh, at the university where you will be able to monitor uh, the testing and uh, the number of uh, positive cases as uh, you get uh, this greatest testing. We want to conclude this, uh, this press conference by, let me say, a couple of things. Number one, uh, this is, as you can see, a community, community effort. We have our faculty, our researchers, our staff, our student leaders who are here with us today. This is a collaborative effort, and the only way that we are going to continue to succeed as an institution is by continuing to work together and collaborating to ensure the health, the safety, and the well-being of our campus community. And number two, the University of Albany is delighted that the first SUNY Chancellor, who is our graduate of the SUNY system, and the new Albany uh, triple alumnus, is Dr. Jim Malajas, and the university will continue uh, to work with SUNY, to doc, with Dr. Malajas, to ensure the success, the continued success, not only of new Albany, but for SUNY. So this is about partnership, and we will continue to work very closely with Deputy Executive uh, Dan McCoy, with Albany County uh, Department of Health, to continue to monitor the situation and make sure that we are successful. Because if we are successful as an institution, we are successful as a system, we are successful as a community.